connected through playing hockey and half Ranger fans, half Islander fans, and we just had a blast, you know, uh, just remembering, uh, you know, the old times and, and the games and so on and so forth. And it's just uh, a trip now to, to again, you know, see the see the pictures and the memories. A- and it's a twist. I mean, I don't know how Islander fans do it. I don't know how Met fans do it. 1986. I mean, what's that like, Kevin? I mean, as a Yankee fan, I can't I can't relate to that, at least – with the Rangers not winning a championship and, and and the Knicks not winning, at least the Yankees and, and the Giants actually will throw in a, a championship in there every, you know, eight to ten years too. But I, I don't know what Islander and, and Met fans and Jet fans, I don't know how you guys deal with it. Yeah, I mean, I am I, I am a Giants fan, so thankfully I, I've had some, some Super Bowls, which is, which is nice. Um, but between, again, 94 and 86, it's rough. I, yeah, you know, from Long, being from Long Island, you know the two of us. You know, I have a lot of friends who are Jets, Mets, Islanders, and Ooh. Knicks fans. Oh. And you know, it's just like they have nothing. <laughs> you know, it's just <laughs> literally. You know, they have eighty six, and obviously the run. You know, when we were in element, you know, we were in elementary school. Like, there's a difference between you know, celebrating it when you're in elementary school as opposed to when, you know, you're an adult, um, you know, in your 20s or something when you can really sort of party and and enjoy it. You know, with the Rangers in 94, I was graduating high school and it was amazing. It really was, you know, one of the best years and times of my life because, you know, you're graduating high school and you got all these parties and um, the Rangers are making this amazing playoff run and there was, you know, and we we discussed on the show there was like a party every night for the games and we'd all get together and it was huge. I mean it was it was just such a a fun fun time. And uh, you know we talk about the parade today. It is weird that I don't remember. I remember we didn't go because of the strike, but I don't remember like watching it. I'm sure I did, but I do remember because we I re- my buddies and I were texting about this today. We remember like the graduation parties for that night. There was like two of them. And one was at a Knights of Columbus. And I just remember we were in the back, like in the kitchen, watching the OJ chase. You know, I did, we were probably watching the Nick game. Um, and then, you know, they switched over to the OJ stuff. And it was it was insane. It was like such a crazy time because the Rangers were winning the cup, the OJ thing. The Knicks were, um, you know, in, in the NBA championship. And it was it was a nutty, that was a nutty, nutty spring. I mean, they had it. They did a um, some type of special on that, didn't they? They do an ESPN. Like I think it was a thirty for thirty, like the spring of ninety four, or or they did. Oh, it was on June seventeenth. It was about June seventeenth. Do you see that? No, I heard about it, but it was primarily yeah, about it, the Knicks, right? No, no, it's about all. It was about all three things. It was about that day. Oh, okay. June seventeenth. How it was the Rangers, uh, Stanley Cup parade. It was the Knicks game. It was OJ. And then something in baseball happened, too. I can't remember what it was. Like, somebody threw a no-hitter, I think, or something okay. that day as well. It was just, like, this crazy sports <laughs> day um, of, of that June 17th, 1994. Um, you got to, anybody who's listening, you got to find it. I think it was an ESPN 30 for 30, and it was about June 17th, 1994. It's nuts. I mean, that whole day was, like, mayhem. And again, we're, you know, I'm 18 years old. Actually, I was 17, um, you know, senior year graduating. And it was graduation parties and, and Rangers, Stanley Cubs and Nick finals and OJ. And it was it was insane. That was just a crazy, crazy time. You think now is crazy. I mean, that that was crazy, but in a different way. It was just all fun. This is crazy and it's miserable. Yeah, but, but there was you know, no pandemic back then. Yeah, exactly. At least exactly. we could, you know, go out and get drunk and party and hang out and, you know, date girls. Exactly. And, you know, get but that's, crazy I mean, stuff. that's what I remember about, you know, that time was just like more than just the, you know, the games themselves and stuff was just the camaraderie of it all. And, you know, the hanging out and the partying and, you know, you almost get sort of sad about it because of everything we're going through now. And, you know, we're, we're opening up more and you can go to restaurants and sit outside. And I've definitely seen friends recently and family, um, you know, more than I was. But, you know, just sitting around watching the games and really rooting for the high fives and the hugging and the pylons and, the, you know, all the stuff that, that we were doing at the time and that you look, you, you normally do. Um, so it's, it's almost sad to, to look back on it and just like, 
man, life, life is fun <laughs> when you're allowed <laughs> to hang out and there's sports and, uh, you know, so, uh, but yeah, I mean, that was just, just an amazing, amazing time as much as I'm saying I'm sick of it and I want more of, of it. Um, you know, it was just like an amazing time. And look, the 2014 run was, was just as fun. I mean, I was doing the blog at the time, which, you know, made it that much more sort of exciting and intense, uh, you know, what was going on. And, and, you know, my friends and I, we were watching the games and getting together, we go in and hang out with, you know, some of the guys I did the blog with. We meet up at Hudson Station in, in Manhattan and watch the games and stuff. It was, it was just fun. You know, it was just, again, you got the camaraderie of it and everybody getting together and, and uh, you know, going crazy over these games. And, you know, the guys from We Bleed Blue and, you know, they'd be holding events and stuff. And it's just it's just fun stuff. And I just can't wait to, like, get back to that, um, you know, way of life again because this is just – it's not doing it for me, Paulie. I hear you, man. No, I know. I mean, that's that's the, uh, the tough thing. It's just, you know. I mean, what are you going to do? This, yeah, this and really... look, there's, there's a lot. Yeah. And, and trust me, you know, we we're talking about hockey and I miss hockey. And look, there's a lot of more important things going on in life right now. Um, and, and a lot of things that uh, that are real important that, that we're dealing with as a country and, and whatnot. So I, I don't mean to minimize all of that at all. Um, but... You know, I, I think that we do need some some things to sort of unite us again, because a lot of the stuff that that is going on, you would think like a pandemic would like unite, you know, all of us. And it's like, you know, if, if you thought we were fractured, you know, beforehand, um, you know, it's and now between, you know, people who think we should open it shouldn't open this. And that, and that, and I then. mean, that is the crazy <clears throat> thing about sports, you know, especially like <clears throat> football and baseball yeah and 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 basketball to a certain point but when you when you see americans of different everything but if you're all giants fans and if you're all packers fans or you're all like cubs fans i'll never forget when the cubs won and just seeing that just amazing thing for that city and for that fan base you know which is kind of funny which was amazing for us in 94 and, you know, how the, the city just, you know, New York City was just, it was amazing. There, there weren't any, there wasn't any problem. Like other cities, you know, the, the, you know, destroying the cities after, you know, championships or losing championships. Remember, Vancouver destroyed their city. <laughs> yeah. If you, if you, yeah, they did. If you recall that, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, and here we were and, and we just, it was just like, um, it was a religious experience. There's no doubt about it. Well, like I said, we just. What can we do? We just got to hang in there and, and, and wait for it. And, yeah, I think you're right. Sports in America is is a, is a great thing. It, it does, you know, bring us together. You know, even seeing the uh, – I think it's as boring as hell, but, you know, I have to at least tip the hat to the Major League Soccer League here in the States and, you know, uh, creating new fan bases and, you know, a, a new uh, you know interest here for a, another major sport here in, in, in the States and – and building stadiums and, and everything else and, and, and seeing that kind of grow a little bit, you know, in the shadows of baseball and football and basketball and, and obviously, as Max says, you know, fourth, fifth-ranked NHL hockey and stuff. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we, that's all we can do. I think that, you know, when you, when you look at it in, in a time frame, and let's just, just, let's just stick to hockey and sports here. I mean, it's four months, right? So March 12th, March 13th, you know, that Wednesday night. Was it a Wednesday night or Thursday night the Rangers played the Avalanche that last I think night? it was Wednesday. I think it was yeah. a Wednesday night. Yeah, because Tuesday, they, that was the, the Caco-Dallas game, right? That's when he scored a couple of goals. They beat Dallas and Dallas, and then they went to Colorado. Yeah. Those are the last two games. And so March, April, May, you know, we're into June. So we're four going to be five months here and you know if you look at new york putting the troubles aside here uh not disrespecting the troubles but just just putting it on let's that's something different we're talking sports here in hockey (laughs) um it's 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 a short amount of time and new york itself have we we've done all right i mean you we've seen how we're we're, it's it's it seems to be working here and and again, now we just have to freaking wait and, and not to get into this freaking wormhole and this loop of this stuff. You know, when it all comes down to it, the main reason we're getting back to me and you talking tonight is is more than anything, not so much 94. And, and I'm with you, man. It's 
especially us older guys, it's, it's a little boring now. <laughs> and, and, you know, two, 2014 was heartbreaking. But we are, we, we all connected now, especially this podcast, me and you getting back together is because of this team uh, that started play this year. It's the reason me and you are back and the reason we're talking tonight and the reason that we hope that we're going to be doing this in the summer now and talking about lineups and games and goals and, and goaltenders and how many are going to play and who's going to get the starting job. <laughs> um, and, and just as hockey fans to, to, to see how this tournament goes. And, and I think especially for us Ranger fans, not to – Everybody's chomping at the bit, but there's there's no doubt about it. this team was 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 building something, and the fact that they're so young, and all the different aspects of it, and and the fact that they were fighting there towards the end to to earn a playoff spot on their own, and and to see, we didn't see that happen, and now that doesn't matter because everybody's in this tournament, and the Rangers deservedly you know deserve to be in there, minus the teams that weren't let in, obviously. But the Rangers put themselves in a position to make this tournament. So getting back to the beginning as far as the asterisk, they're no different than any of the teams that are going into this tournament. You know, if you're the New York Islanders, you might be sitting there scratching your head going, whew, because they almost, they, who knows? They were in such a bad spot, they might not have even made the playoffs. And the Rangers were on this bit of a high, and, you know, you brought it up to the way they celebrated that tying goal in Colorado, even though they lost the game. There was something great that we were all kind of, you know, grabbing onto here and really enjoying it and, and having a blast and having fun. And, uh, you know, the, the Capo Caco jokes aside and, um, you know, the different guys in the lineup and Quinn getting a grasp on thing and the Lindy Ruff stuff in the beginning of the year and the three goaltenders. And you look at all the different angles, uh, how this team was, was, was gelling, building its chemistry, and all of us now, more than anything – Looking forward to the future of this team. JD coming back, Gorton, possible prospects coming up, maybe some new more free agents down the road. Just all these great things that were kind of lining up and put in place, whether they made the playoffs or not. But we were feeling good about them making it. Now they're in. They've got a chance at the dance. And if you know, I don't care. And this gets back to some of the other stuff we've been talking about tonight. I don't care about fans. I don't care about asterisks. I can't wait, and I do hope that we keep trending where everybody stays safe and healthy and we get this tournament in, and more than anything, selfish as hockey fans, that, yes, our sport gets underway, our players get to play, we get to crown a champion uh, you know, this season, and we might be the only sport that does it outside of the uh, European soccer leagues, and that'll be just fine and dandy with me, KD. Because all we care about really is is the New York Rangers, and, and they got a chance. <laughs> yeah, I I think that we were robbed of what was going to be a special spring with this team. I really do. I think yeah. you know you bring up that that moment in Colorado, and and you know they look they had some some strikes against them or things go against them with the Kreider injury and you know, the car accident, um, and but the the team was, was feeling it, you know, a lot of, a lot of these players were coming into their own and they were finding their roles and the, and the defense was, which had been such a nightmare in the beginning of the year had had sort of figured things out and were, were playing much, much better. Um, so, you know, you're right. I mean, there was so much positivity going into, uh, which should have been a special time for this team, um, that, you know, it left such a, you know, bitter taste in our mouth, or, or maybe not bitter, but us wanting just more, you know, and it was such a, such a disappointment um, that we didn't get to see how this young, exciting team was going to handle the pressures of a stretch run. Um, so, you know, it's exciting to see them get a, a sort of new lease on life with this, with this tournament. We'll see how they do. And, and hopefully the momentum that they had built or were building uh, they could they could capture it again. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm looking forward to uh, defending uh, David Quinn um, as much as much as possible <laughs> as I had been doing all year. That was my I think water my boy. favorite. That water was uh, boy, I'll back. carry his water all day long. <laughs> um, I, I I think that was my favorite part of the season was 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 fending off the Quinn haters. 
um, and, and, and watching him grow as a coach. 